Walter A. Brown, for whom Boston University's arena was named, was known as the founding father of American college hockey. He was the first to put U.S. collegians on the world stage when, as chairman of the 1933 national team, the U.S. beat the mighty Canadians for the world championship. He was also there when the 1960 Olympic team, made up entirely of college players, captured the United States' first gold medal in hockey. He died 40 years ago, and since 1971, the Terriers have played hockey in the arena bearing his name. In those 34 years at Walter Brown Arena, BU has suffered only two losing seasons and has a home ice record of 361 wins and only 128 losses. The building holds many memorable moments for the hockey fans of Boston. You know, my favorite memory is just winning. Uh, we were so successful here. I don't know if I have one memory that, that stands out against all of the others. I, I think when we came back after the Olympics and uh, they had a time for us here and gave us watches. But one sad memory haunts the arena, the accident in 1995 of BU freshman Travis Roy, who crashed into the boards just 11 seconds into his BU career. Roy was left paralyzed from the neck down. Well, Walter Brown Arena has been very good to BU and, and to me personally. Uh, if you had asked me the, the most memorable moment we've ever had here, unfortunately is a negative one. Whenever I walk into the building, whenever I woke up and see Travis Roy's uh, retired number, uh, I think of his accident and him going into the boards there. Uh, and that, that kind of overshadows a lot of things that have happened in this building. Now Walter Brown Arena, with its memories, good and bad, is at the end of its reign as home ice for the Terriers. My farewell message to this arena would be thanks for the memories and thanks for all the great players that played here. I had a lot of great memories in this old building. Thanks, Walter Brown. You've been a great host. We'll miss Walter Brown Arena. Thanks, Eric. BU is going to need some goals. One of the guys who knows a lot about scoring goals in this building is my special guest, John Cullen. He's the all-time leading scorer in BU history. They're closing Walter Brown tonight, and you've probably got some great memories of a lot of goals that got scored here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty uh, weird. I'm sitting with a lot of players tonight and uh, saw a lot of the players at the reception today. Um, just being back and, see and seeing the new rink. Um, I'm a little jealous with the players are going to be playing in tomorrow night, but... Uh, a lot of great memories here, and hopefully the guys can come back tonight and win the game. What's the key advantage of Walter Brown Arena? I mean, what what made it such a home ice building? Right there, that band. Uh, you know, I where, where I came from. I grew up in Canada, a uh, little town in Guelph, Ontario. I'll never, I'll never forget um, playing and uh, and hearing the band and uh, all the kids cheering for you. It was it was a smaller rink, um, um, and it was always sold out. So it was a. Uh, you know, the fans are great, it was always loud, and it always got us, got us up for every game. The more that the years separate you from your playing career here, do you grow more to appreciate what you had here? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, like I say, uh, coming back to see Coach Parker and, you know, David Quinn I played with. Uh, the, uh, you know, he's not here, he's coaching the World Juniors, but um, amazing thing coming back. It, it, it seems like we're just on the ice here, you know, uh, a few days ago, even though it's been a lot of years, so it's, it's, it's just a great memory. John, thanks for coming by. Thank you very much. That's John Cullen, the all-time leading scorer in the history of BU. Eric, take it away. Thanks, Eric, here ice side with Don Cahoon, the head coach of UMass Amherst, and you were here when this building opened. Sure was, and it's a long time ago now, 528 games, I guess. Uh, it was a fabulous place for us to be able to move into. Our program used to have to travel across the city to what was then known as the Boston Arena now Matthews Arena, which is home in Northeastern. And we used to get in taxis at four o'clock in the afternoon to go to practice. It was a real pleasure to just take an elevator down from my dorm and come into this facility. Is it special to not only have been here to play on the first team that was here, but to be able to coach against the first team that's gonna be moving into the next building? Well, it's always fun to coach against BU teams and Jack Parker coach teams. Um, looking forward to going over to the new facility and, and bringing my team in there. I know, I know it will be a tough night, but it, it will be a real treat to be in such a great facility. Oh, a great facility on your campus, moving into another one in Hockey East. Don, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Eric, back upstairs. Thank you, Dave. What a player. Coach Cahoon, two national championships here at BU. 
We'll see if his alma mater is able to come back in the third. We'll look at highlights next. Well, the Gophers spoiled the party here at Walter Brown Arena, didn't they? The number one team in the country wins it 2-1. The BU Terriers have made their way around the ice to pay a final salute to the fans here at Walter Brown Arena as the Terriers have played their final game here in this building. After 34 years, they're moving over to Aganis Arena tomorrow night to take on Minnesota, and they're bringing out, if there's a great here who played at BU, what, and we heard from many of them here tonight, they're making their way out into the ice right now for a final photograph here at Walter Brown Arena. And a, a very emotional night, and I think it affected Boston University early on in this game. I don't think they had their legs. They're a better skating club than they showed in the first period. It took them until the third period to really get going. They put up a valiant effort to get back into it, but Minnesota, give them credit. They never backed down, and defense very solid. The BU players waiting for the BU alums to make their way on the ice, and we see them coming out now. We heard from Michael Ruzioni earlier. We know Chris Jury's here and Tukahoon. I see Travis Roy has made his way onto the Jim ice Craig. for this final photo. Jim Craig. There is Mike Ruzioni. All the players who have been with BU. And, and One final team photo here at this place. And a huge, get that wide angle lens. Big <laughs> team photo for sure. A great night. I know they'll be you, the, the current players, looking forward to opening tomorrow night. And we will be there with you tomorrow night as the Golden Gophers and the Terriers take it down the street for the first game at Aganis Arena. Our final score, Minnesota 2, Boston University 1. For Billy Jaffe, Dave Starman, and our crew, I'm Eric Free. For more, log on to collegesports.com, the ultimate destination for scores, news, highlights, and analysis. This has been a presentation of CSTV, number one in college sports. Join us tomorrow at Aganis Arena as Minnesota and Boston University meet again. For the final time, we say good night from Walter Brown. Short-handed MacArthur, he scores! And you uh, never take for granted what you, what you have here. Thanks for the memories and thanks for all the great players that played here.